Hello everybody, my name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Low Mode and today on Hot Low Mode we are coming to you with a very highly requested video which is a reaction to the Bonnie pre-wedding celebration three-day weekend extravaganza in India. Now listen, if you do not know what I'm talking about, maybe you saw there was like a video of Rihanna, she was performing at this big Indian pre-wedding celebration and at a certain point maybe she was like shaking her butt a little bit and she was like oh I really shouldn't do that and I'm like wow I've never felt so seen. She was performing and attending the Ambani wedding for Anant Ambani who is one of the heirs to a very big Indian billionaire fortune and Anant is getting married to Radhika Merchant who is I assume also like an heiress of some sort and so everybody kind of showed up and showed out to go to their wedding. You had Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla, Rihanna, a shit ton of the very famous Bollywood stars like Deepika Padukone, Ranveer Singh, Aliyah Bhatt, etc etc. So everybody's like Luke talk about the outfits. There's a lot of outfits here. It's kind of giving like Gilded Age level of change for this three day weekend. There's a lot of fashion fashioning. So we have a lot to get through. Without further ado, let it begin. So we're gonna start with Radhika Merchant who is getting married to Anant Ambani and that's why it's called the Ambani Wedding. You probably remember the NMAC Gala which is the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center of Arts or something like that. We're calling that the Indian Met Gala now. This is kind of like, oh, the family that throws Indian Met Gala just getting married, crazy fashion. So Radhika is the one getting married. And the first look that I think we should talk about just to get into it is the Atelier Versace dress that she wore. Now you probably remember it from you guessed it. The Met Gala, Blake Lively wore a version of this dress. And I'm pretty positive that that was the Gilded Glamour one, which the embellishments and embroidery was all based on New York City and the skyline and like, did it have anything to do with the Gilded Age? No, but like, okay. What I also will say is compared to Blake's version, I think Radhika served it. Instead of there being like a big asymmetrical sort of loop of metallic silk flowing off of Blake's hip. I think the fact that it was just a really sort of simple column dress that had the draping detail in pink that just sort of wrapped around the waist in a more loose, carefree way, and then just fell down the sides was so easy, was so not like, uh, uh, but still was a beautiful dress. The embellishments and the embroidery is still there. That light sort of shaded pink is just the general vibe, but you get all these little sort of deeper tones as you look a little bit closer. And then again, of course, the draping at the side. I just think it's lovely. I think she did a really, really good job. She's also wearing Versace platform heels, which I think also helps to give stature a cute look. And again, like this is like one, one of her like five looks, and we haven't even gotten into her sister-in-law, who had to turn out not one, not two, not six, ten. Ten looks. I don't have time to do all ten, but ten looks. It's excess. I think we like that here. Now, a more casual but also crazy look that we saw Radhika wear is by the brand Ashish, which is based in the UK. And it's this halter neck dress that is full of colorful fringe and red and green and orange and blue. And each of the days of this pre-wedding ceremony that is also called a hastukshar, which is a traditional Indian prenuptial event, had like a theme, there was a vibe and every day meant something. So there was like a heritage day and then there was like a fun day. There was like a whole carnival that they built on like the family country. I assume that this was kind of like more fun for running around. She's wearing like a flat shoe. Again, you have to like look at the pictures and then like imagine it in the context. And so I kind of like this. I think it's different, a little bit more nouveau, but like, I don't mind. Now, we also saw Radhika wear this Manish Malhotra dress. Nita Mukesh Ambani, who is the mother-in-law or soon to be mother-in-law of Radhika, actually had Manish Malhotra help to create and direct the whole of this pre-wedding event. So you'll see a lot of Manish. Not only did he get the check for the creative direction, he also said, I'll make a few gowns, and by a few I mean a lot. Now, in this regard, I kind of love this. I think it's really, really beautiful. It's a strapless bodice kind of top and then has a matching skirt. It's all in gold. And then there's this little sort of stole that is actually connected to the top of the dress, or at least it looks like it's connected by sort of two little pieces of jeweled strings that just kind of connect and feel chic and very exciting and lovely. Now apparently this is actually a modern interpretation of the traditional Gagra, which is an Indian wedding gown, and they got rid of the dupata, which is like the scarf kind of thing, so I guess that stole is not really like a dupata, it's more of like a stole. 
I don't know. I think that's the cool thing about this whole experience as well, is there's so much beautiful embellishment and embroidery that goes throughout many of the dresses. And I think it also is a payback and homage to the fact that India as a country is very much so known for its craftsmanship and its beautiful textiles and its beautiful embellishments and its beautiful embroideries. I think it's cool that a lot of the time they're paying homage and also working with a lot of designers that are Indian. And so they're bringing in and making sure that their designers are all uplifted in the process of all of that. As we see right below the knee, I also just really love the little sort of diamond motif that sits there as well. It sort of cuts and sort of helps to give you a little bit more of a context of proportions when it comes to this very long high-waisted skirt. Honestly, again, beautiful look. I'm really happy. Now, then we had Radhika wear this Abu Jani Sandeep Kosia two-piece. I am sure that this is some sort of take on some sort of traditional piece of clothing. I don't know if I love the, the top, but I think it feels a little bit church. She's standing next to her future father-in-law. I get it. Do I like the skirt? Sure. I think it's very sweet. I think it's really beautiful, the lace, and it comes in different panels from like yellow to blue to pink, I assume. Very pastel -y, very sweet. It's just the top church girl. And our final Radhika look that we'll talk about for right now, because I have a feeling that this wedding, actual wedding, not pre-wedding, wedding, is going to be buck wild, is this Tarun Tahiliani dress sorry experience because that's what that is the veil that's fully embellished but sheer that she like wears over her head in this very chic sort of manner but then like later she'll pull it up and sort of it's more of a traditional veil that just sort of falls to the back like stunning gorgeous beautiful lovely i really like reacting to indian fashion events because every single time i say oh wow so beautiful love so much thank you and then the sari itself is just stunning Gorgeous, immaculate, miraculous. The colors, that mauve pink, that sort of peachy, but like a dark peach, almost like it's been left out for a day or two, but it's still so beautiful. Just the way that it drapes up, like it's, it's, it's stunning. It, it's beautiful. I, I really can't get over it. And just the sheer amount of jewelry, I can't even begin to think about it. Miraculous. I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm excited for the wedding dress. This isn't even the engagement party because they had that. They did that last year. Tradition. Now, next up, we're going to talk about Anant, who is who Radhika is getting married to. Anant Amani is one of the heirs. First look, I actually really, really love on Anant. I think it's really cool. I think it's really chic. I think the length is great. I like this kurta. I'm pretty positive that's what this is. It's a lengthy jacket that hits around the knee area. I think that the silhouette is really, really great on him. I think the color is also really, really lovely. I like the motif that runs throughout it and the silver buttons, the embellishments. I think they're very sweet. I think they're really lovely. I like the fact that they actually hit right at the waist where the waist ends and then they let the rest of the silhouette, A-line, bell shape, really do the walking and the talking. Honestly, I think it's cute. I like it. And I feel like normally men's wear is tough for me, so I'm into this. Now my other Anant look, don't love as much. Listen, it's a black suit, it's really, really simple. I just feel like shoe-wise, we could do something a little bit better. I feel like we can get a little bit more like boot than sneaker. I think you could do better than this. Doing a lot of running around, but if the wife can turn out that and that and that, you could do better than a sneaker, a boot. One inch, two inch, three inch. Don't need four. I won't ask for four. I need a little bit more because I think that the pant silhouette doesn't really help with the sneaker. More of the first, less of this. When we're going to talk about Isha Ambani, who is soon to be Radhika's sister-in-law and the sister of Anand, I would be like, okay, maybe tone it down if I was Radhika. But at the same time, like these women are also beautiful and they're also also fashionable that like from an objective perspective, keep it going, Isha. Keep turning it out. Isha said, it's not my wedding, but like I'm taking the themes very seriously. First up, we see Isha in Chanel Couture. And now if you're going to say, Luke, why are you excited about Chanel Couture? Because it's not designed by Virginie Vior. It's a Karl Lagerfeld from 2018. It's this beautiful sleeveless gown. It's fully embellished. It looks like there's little chaffs of wheat very, or provincial at the very least. She doesn't have the veil on from that collection, like kind of love, but I also get it. Again, they're running around, they're seeing people, they have to talk to everybody, yada, yada, yada. I get it. I also just personally love a headpiece and that's just me. I think it's beautiful on her. Again, I like the fact that we're pulling out the old Chanel Okachor. Six years later, I, I don't mind. Also, again, I just think the fact that it's not by certain designers, but it's Chanel, very telling about taste. Then Isha showed up in a Louis Vuitton dress. Again, fantastic 
range of taste because this is not super duper early Nicolas Jusquier at Louis Vuitton, but like definitely within the first three or four years. And I remember when I first was seeing these dresses, I was like, ugh. And now as time has gone on, I actually really love them. I think they're very chic. I think they're very fashion forward. I like the fact that overall it is a fully crystalled sheer dress, but then there are panels underneath that make it opaque. So you can see like a leg and you can see arm and parts of the torso. But at the bra, there's that second layer that covers it. And then there's that asymmetrical other side on the skirt that sort of falls again asymmetrically and in a curved way that sort of allows a little bit more the sheer leg to come out and I just think it's chic I think it's cool I think it's very elegant and again I'm just really intrigued at how we're pulling out like older looks rather than like straight off the runway right now hottest new moment no 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 we're pulling out some oldies but some goodies. Now then Isha wore this red Manish Malhotra look and I mean like stun. I like the beautiful little bra top with the matching skirt. Lehenga vibe I would say but also might not be. Embellishment is beautiful. I think the red is a gorgeous color and that like little fur stole. I don't know how I don't know how hot it is but like love that. Love that for you. Why not? I also think that it really builds a nice little silhouette for the whole look. And I think that it also breaks up the fact that we're seeing a lot of embellishments and embroidery. That textile really changes what we're seeing. It gives a nice little break, a little, a little something, something. I'm not even like doing like real critical things for the most part. Cause like, I'm just like, oh, oh, that's the vibe. Next up we have Isha again in Manish Malhotra. I told you that man said, ah, yeah, I a hundred percent will take a, a little design moment while we're here. I believe that this is a lehenga, the beautiful flower detail. I also just love the fact that like, as we get right above that horizontal stripe layering and banding, is you can see the, I assume either where the fabric is raised to create these beautiful sort of panels or there are extra layers that have been sewn on top. It's beautiful, it looks like a tapestry. Uh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I don't know any other way to say it. It's just, you're looking at stunning things. And then again, as it moves down the dress, you have these beautiful bands that sort of create like a cording of some sort. And then there's some sort of embroidery motif that runs along it. And then the, the cording and then a different motif or a similar looking motif. And then it falls again. And then you have the cording right at the hem. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And then the jewelry again, like the green really just pops also like i actually physically cannot try to fathom how much the jewelry costs because like i think i'll be sick we then saw isha again pull out another great look miss sohi beautiful stunning wonderful yeah this sheer embellished floral embroidered look is gorgeous and i like the big swaths of pink sort of sleeve that then also create a train again the girls recognize beautiful embroidery. They love it. They like embellishment. It's very hot and it's very sexy and I'm really into it. Even like the picture. She's like, oh yeah, let me do like all the pink and purple flowers all around. Totally fine. We'll theme it. She's really been like, oh, I'm going to do my own photo shoots. Like I don't need a magazine to cover me. I will cover me here. I'm obsessed with it. And our last Isha Ambani look that we'll talk about is this Falguni Shane Peacock look, which I just want to say with all due respect to Isha. I would 100% have something to say if she showed up in that to my wedding or my pre-wedding. They'd be like, are you okay? Are you good? You gotta chill out here because it's not a cute look. I don't like it. You're trying to upstage me. And it's not fun because you're doing a good job. This full jacket full of flowers is amazing. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is why I'm, I just said all that I'm saying is like, because it's so good. It's so drama. It's so beautiful. Again, you have a lehenga, the little fringe cap sleeve. Ugh. Ugh. I can't think. I have to start thinking of other words. I need a thesaurus. And then the skirt. Big, bold, beautiful, gorgeous. Talk about peacock, babe. Talk about peacock. Isha is doing it. Again, Radhika, just want to say, with all due respect. Gotta watch out for her at the wedding because she might do a very good job of it. Also, like, obviously I'm kidding. I don't really know their dynamic. There were like a bunch of other looks that I did not save because I was like, all right, Isha, we got, we got it. You know how to dress. But the girls were trying. The girls were trying it. Now, next up, we have Nita Mukesh Ambani. She's my favorite out of all the Ambanis. She's like, I don't want to say mother in like a way, but like she is mother literally physically to the children. And also just like is a chic diva. I'm just really into her vibe. Feels to me very socialite, very chic, very 
Swan. First, let's talk about Nita's Manish Mahotra look. This beautiful ivory cream. Sorry, again, it's stunning. Again, the jewelry, the necklace. I don't know how her posture is like that because I by myself am hunching usually, but imagine wearing that set of fat rocks on your neck. Couldn't be me. Just think she looks beautiful. She looks matriarchal. She looks refined and poised. I love it. It's gorgeous. She looks wonderful. She looks very mother of the groom. She's taking a little bit of a step back. She's saying, I know how to serve. I will serve. I will look beautiful. But at the same time, like, I know who is the center of attention this time around. I got it. Icon. Now, next up, Nita said, oh, I'm going to give a speech. And so for my speech that I'm going to give, I'm going to wear Scaparelli au couture. This full custom look that like literally has never been made. So she was like, no, 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 I want that. It's this sort of draped silk, grape purple to me dress with some buttons up the side along the sleeve and then a little bit of a train on the side. I'm kind of amazed by it to be completely honest because like it does to me not look super duper 1930s Scaparelli draping, but I do think that there's like a little element of that built in, in terms of looking at and talking about Scaparelli a lot. We're usually always looking at celebrities. It's very rare we're looking at clients. I think the only time that I've ever really seen like a client client wear Scaparelli and it's been like more of a public thing was at a Met Gala. It was kind of crazy, but this I think is really interesting to see. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And I think it's a really great example of Scaparelli can do the crazy and the out there and all that sort of stuff. But there are clients that go and say, Daniel Roseberry, I just want you to make me a nice little dress. And he makes a nice little dress. I thought that was cool. And then finally, Nita was like, oh, I'm gonna do a performance for everybody. And she did. And she wore this beautiful little Minish Maholtra look. It's this sort of like, pleated top in red with gold embellishments and embroideries and then a little skirt and then she like did her her dance and she looked beautiful and I was so happy and like felt like I was watching a music video and life was good. So if Nita Mukesh Ambani has one fan, I'm kind of obsessed with her. Next up we have Shloka Ambani who is the soon to be sister-in-law of Radhika Ambani as well. Now here she's wearing Abu Jani Sandeep Kosia. Beautiful. Honestly, the whole look overwhelmingly is gold. There's a lot of gold embroidery. It's a lehenga. So we have the little sort of crop top, high-waisted skirt, and then the beautiful sort of draping of this stole. Mostly gold, but there are sort of little elements of a lot of colors. You have pink, purple, peach, green, gold or yellow and it's really jumping out in the stole area and then we can see that there's that continuation of the coloring that sort of works its way on the inside of this stole it's lined with the little diamonds in those colors we can see at the bottom there and then just the rest of the look is beautiful it's gorgeous stunning Again, on Bonnie Women, they know what they're doing. We then saw Shloka in Valentino. Now, this is a pretty simple, I would say, Valentino look to a degree. You have this red bra top, it's partially off the shoulder, and the roses that are 3D draped are very much so a pure Paolo Piccioli experience. They're something that he's been doing for quite a few seasons now. But we can see that they are embedded with little crystals that I think are meant to make it shine. Personally, I appreciate the fact that we've added the crystals so that when we get to the bottom of this high-waisted skirt with the slit. It's a continuation of the crystal and it's sort of built in. Don't think that the actual crystals make the flowers look better. I think it almost detracts from the flowers, unfortunately, in my humble little opinion. I do really love the skirt. I think the skirt's gorgeous. I think it's stunning. I almost wish maybe that instead of adding the crystals to the actual flowers, we had added them in the matte parts of the bra so that you can't actually see that sort of red that sits underneath and rather it's just crystal and then the flowers. Top I'm not obsessed with, unfortunately. And the last local look that we'll talk about is this Manish Malhotra. Again, the man knows what he's doing. Beautiful, beautiful little lehenga moment, I assume, again. It's just, it's the, the crop top with the high-waisted skirt. The top is cute, it's pretty, it's nice looking, but the skirt really is where things shine. So it seems to be a trellis motif that slowly but surely, as we get to around the knee, falls and goes a lot more A-line, but instead of it being a trellis, we can see it continues into this sort of foliage, vine, stem, leaf structure, builds itself out, and it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I love the trellis and I feel like the trellis makes a lot of sense. The flowers and the foliage really takes the cake on it. And then we can also see, which is 
really rather brilliant. There's an underskirt underneath, a sort of slip skirt, if you will, that is fully sequined in an array of colors from pinks to blues to yellows to golds to oranges. And that, because of the trellis, overskirt on top is actually sort of sectioned off by each of the pieces of the trellis cut out and then the foliage cut out. It's like a rainbow. It, it's stunning. It's really, it's a gorgeously constructed piece. It's miraculous. And then at the same time, the hem of the skirt is actually curved. It's almost scalloped in a way because you have these embellished and embroidered sort of little swags running throughout as well. It's a goodie, a hundred percent, without a doubt. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I love it. Now let's move on to some of the other guests from the weekend. They are not part of the Ambani family, I believe, for the most part. Firstly, we have Aaliyah Bott, who is wearing Andrea Broca. Andrea is a very young couturier, I believe, based in the Middle East. And here we can see that Aaliyah Bott is wearing just a very simple black dress. It has a deep plunge, and the bust area is sort of this little curved and flipped shape, and then it's embellished with blue crystals that don't continue throughout the dress. It's really just rather at the bust. It's okay. I don't love it. I'm not really obsessed with it. I feel like there are crazier Andrea Braca looks that I would have liked to have seen more, but at the same time again, for an event that's not really about you, I get it. I understand it. It makes sense. It's just not really wow. Then we had Deepika Padukone, who is wearing here, Rimple and Harpreet Marula, who I don't know, unfortunately this is a new name for me, I apologize, but it's this gorgeous lehenga. It's in red and gold. She looks stunned, she looks gorgeous. We're gonna talk about it in a minute for the most part, but I was really intrigued by Deepika Padukone pictures that I've seen. For the most part, like she's always turned to her back this entire weekend, which I thought was really, really interesting, or everything is like a side profile. So you don't really get to see the front of the looks a lot, which I was kind of confused by. Now next we see her in Sabiasachi, which is one of the bigger Indian brands. She's wearing, again, a henga. I believe that this little gold top is interesting and a high-waisted skirt. The skirt is beautiful. The gold top, I don't really love, not really obsessed with, to be completely honest. I do like the neck and I assume that that is actually embellished onto the top. It's not just a necklace. Something about like the darts running down is fine, but the dart running across the bust line, I don't really get. I assume that it's obviously like giving space, but I don't think I've ever actually like seen something like that. I do really love the organza sort of stole. I think that's really gorgeous. I think it's really beautiful. In the side profile picture of her, it doesn't really show well, but I think the one where she's standing next to Ranveer Singh gives off a much better energy, look, feel. It's really reflective. It's very bright. It's very shiny. Love the skirt. Really gorgeous. Love the stole. Top. Confused by. And speaking of, let's talk about Ranveer Singh. India, I just want to say, as a country, y'all have really been keeping that man a secret. Hmm, keeping them all for yourself. Kind of rude. I love what I assume it says kurta. It's that beautiful sort of lengthy jacket, this blue sort of bird feather that really stands out against either a navy blue or a black. I really can't tell. I think it might be black, but it also could just be a very, very deep navy blue and just the lighting I can't really get the, the gist of. But the color is striking. The color is beautiful. The color is Stunning. I appreciate that the man is wearing a boot. He gets it. He understands. I think maybe not a patent leather would have been better just because it would have been a little bit more matte and, f you know, really fit in with the rest of the look. It's a little shiny. It's trying to like take attention away, in my opinion, from the jacket. And I don't think anybody should do that to that jacket because I'm really obsessed. I really don't know what it is. It looks like a bird in flight of some sort. But if it's not, it looks like an angry owl thing and I just really love the color. I really think it's exciting. We need more Ron Veer Singh here in the US on the red carpets, please. Deepika, with respect, you don't need to hog him. You can bring him over. Thank you. Next up we have Karina Kapoor Khan and she is wearing Manish Malhotra. Manish, he is cashing those checks. Here we have this beautiful halter, fully sequined and or paillette. Sorry situation, it seems like it's a silver that flows into a gold. You know what? I don't really love it from like a personal standpoint, just aesthetics wise, but if that's what it is, I don't really feel like we see a lot of not sort of traditional embroidery motifs and things like that. I feel like this is almost like Paco Rabanne I think that there's an element of this like sort of futuristic only sort of metals and alloys and things like that here in this look that I think is just really different from what 
I feel like I see a lot of when it comes to doing these videos. I don't love it per se. I have a weird thing about metallics. It's, it's just a tough thing to pull off, but I do find it a really, really interesting piece because it feels like a more futuristic take on the sari. And then we had Karina Kapoor wearing Ridu Kumar. And now this is a beautiful full coat. And I believe that it is a specific type of silk. Now this is the Imran Coat Ensemble, a sophisticated derivative of the age old technique of Jamavar. Now I don't know much about Jamavar, but I know that it's, I think, way of weaving silk fabrics that is specific to certain parts of India or certain groups of people within India. As for the actual look though, I think it's pretty. It's not like miraculous, but the jacket is really, really lovely. Again, I don't really feel like the jacket or the coat, I should call it a coat, is something that we really see a lot. And by we, I mean I, who is very new to looking at a lot of Indian clothing up close and personal. I'm intrigued by it. I think it is really beautiful. I do think that it's very light. I don't really feel like it's trying to like steal the show. It's obviously just sort of taking on and sort of modernizing a traditional textile. The dress underneath is okay. I'm not, again, not obsessed, not, not gooping, not gagging. It's just nice. And I wanted to talk about the gem of art just so that we could all, you know, add it to our lexicon. Next up, we have Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan, his wife. They're were a lot of people at this wedding. And there's a lot of people I'm not including because we don't really have time and also like, I don't really want to talk about them. Here we have Mark and Priscilla wearing Alexander McQueen, which I think is really, really interesting. Priscilla, I can see much more of it being Alexander McQueen because you have these two sort of flowers and gold embellishment that sit at the bust and then flow down the side. We can tell that it's very obviously Sarah Burton for McQueen. And then Mark has these sort of dragonflies on his suit. The dragonfly shoe, uh, I don't know. I think Priscilla's is okay. I think Mark's is like, whatever. I think the pants should fit a little bit better personally, but I don't like the shoes, but I thought it was interesting to see them in Alexander McQueen. Apparently these are like custom, they buy them, that makes sense. I don't know, give me a better McQueen reference. No offense to them. I know that Sarah Burton was the queen of embellishments and embroideries at McQueen, but I don't know, need a little bit more. And then Mark and Priscilla turned it out a little bit more because they showed up wearing Mishra, the brand. Mark. I like his kurta. I think it's beautiful. I love the embellishments, the flamingos, the flowers, the foliage. It's gorge. I love it. It's very chic, it's very floaty and fun and feminine. And I don't want anybody to be like, wow, you called it feminine. But it's like, no, I, ju I just genuinely think that the embellishments and the pinks and the colors and the yellows and the flowers, it's like, I like that. I like that embrace of a little bit of looking at the beauty of nature and feeling it. Especially for a man who runs like a gigantic tech conglomerate, not really something I think he would wear. Also like, again, the man is known for wearing like flip flops all day long. Now, as for Priscilla, turn it out. Listen, that, that top is stunning. The birds, the feathers, it's lovely. It's gorgeous. And here's my thing about rich people. Spend your money well. Wear nice things, wear chic things, wear things that are actually like, I don't know, full of work. The high-waisted skirt, I love it, it's beautiful. And as we hit right to where the gathering sort of begins in that skirt, the pop, a meadow of some sort flowing out. Like it's just, the girls really can't touch. Maybe the French, maybe the French can touch the Indian embroidery industry, but like, my God, they know how to do it. It's like little portraits going on. They, they do a great job. So Priscilla and Mark, I see you, want more of this. Now that you showed me that you could do it, I'm gonna be watching. Next up, we have Natasha Punawala who is wearing this blowny top and a Manish Malha skirt. I like it a lot. It's weird. It's styling though. That's the thing that I think is cool. I like seeing two different brands coming together. Whatever this like strange little silver chestnut thing is, it's weird and it's cool and it's very dune fashion like and I'm into it and then the skirt I think accents it well it doesn't like fight for attention it lets the silver chestnut chestnut all over her chest I think it's cool I think it's fashion I don't have to like every single thing to the umpteenth degree but like I love when people go for it I do I think this is it I think she's going for it and I'm like all right I'm I'm front row on the roller coaster of whatever this is next up we have the icon herself Rihanna because Rihanna was performing love her she's wearing a custom the Attico dress and it was tough to find a picture of it up close and personal to be completely honest but it's this green sort of lace with I believe a pink sort of slip underneath and also the thing that I love about Rihanna is just like her body is her body and that's her body and like you're gonna get it 
and that's fine. And I think that's really, really cool. I like seeing this. I like the fact that she also like is not afraid of a dress that sort of shows off curves and swerves. I think it's majore. I don't love it. I think I understand. It's like probably a reference to the embellishments, the embroideries, the textiles of India. I don't know, maybe like a Indian brand would have been a better choice to be completely honest. I don't, I don't like hate the coat. I just don't really love it. And I think having seen all the Again, embellishments, embroideries, I'm gonna stop saying that. The ease and the ease. I feel like there are a lot of other brands that would have been better suited and would have just made like more beautiful jackets in my opinion. I love Rihanna, very fun, very chic. Next up we have Sara Ali Khan who's wearing Manish Malhotra. To me it looks like, again, like a lehenga. I like the halter and I like the pearls. I think that's like a fun vibe and cool, very chic sort of elegant way of doing the whole thing. And also the fact that it's like fully white, again, kind of always takes me out of it just being from the West, seeing people wearing white at like wedding kind of things and they're not the bride. I think that's where I'm always like, ooh. But again, it's not really the norm in India to wear white at your wedding all the time. So I appreciate it. I think that the gathering and the, the, the actual texture besides the pearls on the top is cool. I like the little fringe of the pearls. I love the stole. I like changing up of the pearl sort of trellis motif on the skirt at the knee to just going full straight down lines to really help sort of build out this mermaid skirt thing. It's just, it's chic. It's cool. I'm into it. And lastly, let's talk about Sonam Kapoor, who is wearing Amir Al Qasim, who is a Syrian designer. And it's weird. It's wacky. It's wonderful. I'm into it. It feels almost like what Balenciaga Couture should look like a lot of the time. It's this fully stiff, really, really crystallized bodice with a little bit of a curve at the neckline, which I actually really, really like. And then a plissade, I believe, silk skirt. But from right at the sort of top of the pelvis, it sort of cocoons up, exposes the torso, and then sort of comes together at the neck. And I don't really love the neck, to be completely honest. Like, I just think the little, I don't think you needed the white embellishment there. I think it would have been fine without it. I think it's very different. I think it sort of is this idea of volume and texture. And that's kind of why it reminds me a lot of Balenciaga, to be completely honest. And I'm just, I'm kind of into it. I think it's chic. I think it's interesting. So that is the end of our video. Honestly, I don't really think there's any point of like a best and worst, to be completely honest. I really don't think there was like anything that I hated so, so much that I'm like, ugh, worse. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Listen, we might do an Ambani wedding moment. So stay tuned. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.